Good morning. Today is a beautiful blue sky day here in Tianjin, and let me tell you, that means we have to go outside. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Shanghai Guan. Shanghai Guan, where is that? It is about an hour and 30 minute train ride north east of Beijing, or of Tianjin, maybe about an hour and a half east of Beijing. What are we gonna see there? We're gonna see the Great Wall. What? We're gonna see the Great Wall. I've seen the Great Wall 15 times, but what makes the Great Wall special in Shanghai Guan? It ends in the ocean. The Great Wall ends in the ocean. I could not be more excited to see this today. Get out in this beautiful weather, and I'm taking you along with me. By the way, I'm John Thomas, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for sticking around. One of the things about summertime is seeing what is referred to as the Beijing bikini. And uh, here's a prime example. Apparently the belly button is a center of cooling for your body. So a lot of people pull up their shirts, show off their belly button to stay cool during these hot summer months. Welcome to Shanghai Guan. I am so excited to show you around. This is a place that I have never been here in China and it's a place I've always wanted to come to. It is so windy up here, so I hope you can hear me, but these beaches are also very beautiful. If you haven't seen one of my latest videos in Shenzhen, I went to the beach there. This beach, obviously, nowhere near as busy, but very beautiful. So it is super windy out here at the end of the Great Wall. I can't believe it. So much history here. I would imagine, but so much beach to explore also. Let's check it out. This time I came a little bit more prepared for the beach because I want to go out on the sand. So I brought 
sandals, flip-flops, slides, whatever you want to call them, I brought them. I'm going to put them on now so that I can go out into the sand and not get sand all in my shoes. Now that I'm down at the water, it is even more impressive. I just, I thought it went further out into the water, though I have to admit this definitely looks like new construction. This does not look like the original wall. So potentially the original wall went out a little bit further, but I didn't do any research on this, so. This is so hard to get a picture. So now that we've played at the beach for a little bit and you got to see Lion's Head, let's see what else Shanghai Guan Scenic Area has to offer. I see little cars. So I did it. I got the car. It's so fun. about to go through some students here. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, I made it through all the students. So nice, everybody said hello. Let's see what else this place has to offer. My little buggy does not even compare to these. Holy moly. Look what you can rent to go out onto the beach. Here I am at another beach in Shanghai Guan and it is definitely breezy so I hope you can hear me. There is nobody here. As you can see, I am like the only person on the beach outside of like I think two guys swimming behind me. Now it's a little bit of a hazy day outside today so I don't see beautiful blue skies but beautiful sea breeze and amazing views out here today. This place feels completely abandoned. It's such a beautiful beach. I'm surprised that there are not more people here. Let's continue. So we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in front of me. And I thought I would give you a view of what Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs would see if they were actually watching me. Here's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'm gonna put you down dwarf height. This is what you would see. <laughs> Too funny, right? Okay, let's go turn this cart back in. Oh, it stopped so fast. Overall, Shanghai Guan Scenic Area costs 50 RMB to get in. It is a very quick 10 minute ride from the train station. So if you go into Shanghai Guang Railway Station, 10 minute DD ride to get down here. This place is totally worth it. For that 50 RMB, not only do you get to see the Great Wall as it plummets into the ocean, you do get to also hang out at the beach. There are a lot of restaurants and you could probably spend a whole afternoon here. This is also very close to Qinghuangdao. So if you're gonna go spend maybe a weekend at the beach there, this would be a great day trip for you to come visit. Now, if you're looking for 
A historic part of the Great Wall, this is probably not the place for you. This has been completely rebuilt. It looks fantastic, but there's definitely not a lot of like broken down wild wall type stuff. This is definitely a tourist attraction intended to get people here, go into the water and buy in some food. I can't come to Shanghai Guan and not have a Shanghai Guan drink. This is like an orange soda. Refreshing, sticky sweet, delicious. And I'm on this thing by myself, enjoying my Shanghai Guan. Oh, went down too fast. It's absolutely a pity to tread on fragrant and luxuriant grass. So why do they call it Old Dragon's Head? They call it that because it looks like an old dragon's head. When you look at it from afar, it looks like the dragon is drinking water out of the ocean. My hat's gonna blow away. This is so windy. Okay, it's a little windy out here. Here we are, the end of the road. Shanghai Guan was an incredible adventure today. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. I can't believe I got to make one of my dreams come true. Being able to see the Great Wall go into the ocean was phenomenal. So, so happy that I was able to see that today. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.